Yes, indeed. Well, the election campaigns have gone largely according to plan. Friday was officially the last day of campaigning. Today is the first round of voting. Um, and so we have 12 candidates who are um, trying to get through the first round. Yeah. Um, they range from the extreme right with Eric Zemmour to the very left wing Jean-Luc Mélenchon. There are many candidates in between. But those with the most probable chances of success are Emmanuel Macron, the sitting president, Marine Le Pen, the leader of the National Rally Party, and Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who I would describe as a grassroots leftist who um, is very anti-globalization and who's someone who, as many French leftists, who I, I still, he still harks back to the days of global revolution and, and Marxist movements. For the first round uh, pr pr polls, opinion polls, which are um, usually pretty accurate in mm. France, they put 26% uh, of the share of the vote going to Emmanuel Macron, 22% to Marine Le Pen, and 17% to Jean-Luc Mélenchon. So, at a push, Mélenchon could actually tip Marine Le Pen. Who knows? Mm -hmm. mm. Nabila, how much has Marine Le Pen detoxified the Front National, I mean, it's, it's now called something different, isn't it? But, I mean, it was very easy once upon a time to, to categorise Front National as, as on the far right when you look at some of some of their, their policies, particularly with the influence at the time of, of her father when he was leader of the party. But lots of commentators now seem to say, actually, they're, they're a right-wing right party, but more mainstream. They've dropped a lot of, of their kind of toxic policies and therefore they're tapping into more mainstream French opinion. Is that a legitimate assessment? Well, I think what made her more mainstream is in this election, you have seen the emergence of a candidate like Eric Zemmour, yeah. who makes her look mm. remarkably moderate. Uh, he's uh, somebody who has uh, three convictions for spreading religious and uh, racial hatred. Uh, uh, the last one uh, in date was for him appearing on live television, suggesting that child immigrants are all potentially rapists and, and murderers. He's somebody who um, actually described the Maréchal Pétain of the of Vichy government during the Second World War, somebody who protected the Jews. Now, that goes against all the facts of history. Uh, so the emergence of a, a, an extremist like him made her policy more uh, palatable, if you like. But she still um, carries on with uh, her hard right uh, program. Uh, she's uh, suggesting now to find uh, women who wear a headscarf in, uh, in the public mm. space and indeed clamp down on immigration by 75 percent. Um, not only reduce immigrants who are coming to France, but also clamp down on those who are already here. Um, she has desperately been trying to distance herself from her toxic father, who, let's not forget, is a convicted Holocaust denier, a racist and anti-Semite. Mm -hmm. But he remains a major figure in the party, and a lot of her supporters remain fundamentally loyal to him. Mm -hmm. And he, crucially, remains her father. Mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> and let's not forget that her party was literally founded by um, Holocaust deniers and former soldiers, uh, Third Reich soldiers who fought in the Nazi Waffen-SS.